Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Jeff Sanders here with Gulf Shore Insurance. Today, we're going to be talking about human resources and also payroll tax credits. So stay tuned. Okay, full disclosure, I am not a human resources professional, nor am I a tax professional. I am, however, a property and casualty insurance professional. And when I work with clients, I often get these questions when it comes to COVID-19. So the idea of this video is to share some information with you so you can go to your respective professionals to get the proper answers. So um, as part of the FFCRA, which is the Family's First Coronavirus Response Act, employees who are sick with COVID-19 are due sick leave, up to 80 hours or two weeks of sick leave pay, right? They can also be granted sick uh, family leave pay if they have to care for a family member who is sick with COVID-19. That's a little bit more tricky because that could be up to 10 weeks. So what you'll wanna do is get with your HR professional, find out exactly for you as the employer what your uh, response needs to be when you have employees that are coming down ill. What I can tell you from a payroll perspective, make sure you keep track of the payroll that goes to those employees. For the employer you, there is going to be payroll tax credits available at the end of the year. So save that payroll when it comes tax season, you'll want to provide those. Now here's where the crossover is with insurance. So when we look at workers' compensation, as you know, your premiums for workers' comp are tied directly to your payroll. So when you have an employee who is sick with COVID-19, workers' compensation uh, is allowing you to take that payroll, keep track of it separately, and that way we can turn it into the insurance auditor at the end of the year. They're going to reclassify that payroll so it doesn't drive up your insurance premiums or inflate your insurance premiums when uh, the idea was just to pay this employee to uh, keep them on payroll, do right by them while they were recovering, et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully this information is helpful and it can point you in the right direction to talk to your respective professionals, whether it's tax reasons or HR uh, reasons that you need to chat with them about. Again, I'm Jeff Sanders with Gulf Shore Insurance. If I can be of any assistance to you in your business with your property and casualty needs, please reach out. Tune in next time. We'll look forward to speaking with you then.